Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little back to school clothing haul. Never thought I'd be saying that. Although I might look young, when I say back to school I mean I am going back to university to get my masters. So I talked about going back to school, getting my masters in this video um, and kind of what's been happening before now if you're interested in that. But today we're just going to be going through all the bits I got for going back to get my masters. Now that said, would I have been fine if I didn't do any shopping? Yes. I didn't need back to school clothes, but I had been kind of refraining from shopping for quite a while and there were a few pieces I really wanted to get for different reasons and I'll kind of explain that and then a few little pieces I've picked up along the way. But I, for months, uh, I would say most of last year when I was shopping, like most of the previous year, I was looking at more work wear. But now that I'm going to be in school for a little bit, it kind of changed things. So the pieces I have are from ASOS, Esprit, um, something from a local boutique and Oisho and TK Maxx. So a lot of the time I do try and shop more consciously, which I will talk about. Um, when I'm talking about some of the different items and that's why these are all items that were kind of boxes that I wanted to fill in my wardrobe. Um, certain pieces that I knew I was thinking about, I would love to have that to style, that, etc. So definitely check out fashionrevolution.com, I'll link them below um, and you can check out who is basically performing well on their scale. Um, you can see what's for what's important to you but um, ASOS are actually performing pretty, like, good is, a, is an exaggeration, but compared to other brands and a lot of the time on ASOS you can do the, um, what's it called? Responsible edit? One of their edits is all their eco, eco-friendly clothes, which that's a problem for another time. All their clothes should be eco-friendly, but whatever. Um, and then Esprit, that is why I went on the Esprit website. Not one I would usually shop on, but they do a lot of, they were scoring pretty high. And then on Fashion Revolution, and then I checked it out and they actually have an organic cotton line. So I decided to try something out. With that super long intro, as per usual, let's just get into the pieces that I bought. So I'm hoping for this to be a try on haul, uh, but I haven't tried most of these things on yet. I'm hoping most of them will work out. Uh, just really a skirt and a top that I have not tried on yet. That I am a little bit, not a little bit worried about, but you know, you never really know. So I'll try them on. You can tell, I'll probably put something on screen. If it's not good, I'll let you know. If there's nothing, we're all good. So I guess we'll start out with the stuff from Esprit, which I thought was kind of weird because I didn't really Hadn't really shop. Esprit always reminds me of when we lived in Singapore for some reason. I feel like my mom always used to shop there. Uh, so this is made with organically grown material. So this was just a nice long sleeve, but like a fancier long sleeve t-shirt. Uh, more of a bracelet sleeve, if I'm being honest. Uh, from Esprit in navy. And if you can see, the neckline is scalloped. So I thought this would be great for skirts with jeans. Something that's just a bit more understated, elegant. You know, obviously, I don't know what it's going to be like going into uh, this master's program. And I don't know how people are going to dress. Are they going to be more formal or is it super chill? Are they professionals coming back to college? Or are they people going straight from undergrad? I don't know. So anyways, my personal style is more of a classic style. So I'm just going to stick with that. I'm so excited about the other piece I got from Esprit, which is this pink pink and white stripe off the shoulder top. So I think I got this in a small, yeah. I always have issues with sizing from like high street brands, but it's the top is a little longer than I think I'd like, but that's just because I'm short. And then the sleeves have a little gather here and obviously there's a little bow in the middle. And I thought it was more of a seersucker material, but it's not, it is an organic cotton though. And it feels so nice and I really wanted an off the shoulder top. That was one of the boxes again I wanted to tick. Uh, I have one from Allister, I believe, that I got maybe three or four years ago that I do wear, but it's dark in color and wasn't so much of a, like a daytime style. Uh, so I thought this would be really cute and I was so excited when I found it. So both of those pieces were on about 25 euro or less actually. So, pretty good deal. Next piece I got was from Oisho. If you know Oisho, um, they do like loungewear, pajamas, underwear, swimwear. 
Uh, I think it's it's a European thing. I don't think they have it in the US. I got these pants. These like they're joggers. I think they're gathered at the ankle. They've pockets um, in this like rust velvet color. I got these for lounging at home. Honestly, um, I didn't. I'm never gonna wear these to class because they have a really weird crotch, which you'll probably see. Look how long the rise is in these. It is honestly bizarre. Can you see that? Like, how many inches is that? Like, it's wild. They look kind of like, they're cut like men's pants. Um, Because I have stolen my brother's tracksuit pants before. And those are the other ones that I have. I think they're super cute still. I'm going to wear them. They're so comfortable and they come up so high with a big thick waistband. Love them. So the next thing I got was such a find. And I don't really see myself wearing this to class. But, like those pants. But... They were bought around now. Um, I bought this a day or two ago only. The rest of the stuff was from a while ago. And this is a super cute top. So it's off the shoulder on this side and it has one strap on this side. Now it's a US 8, so it's the equivalent of like a UK 12, uh, which I am not. I'm more of a 10 or even an 8 in tops that are loose like that, um, just because I have a smaller upper body. Um, but that was the only size they had. It is actually the Tommy Hilfiger and Gigi Hadid collection. So I saw this top and I was like, wow, that's so cute, so fun, so preppy. And then, oh, it's Tommy Hilfiger and Gigi Hadid. So this was um, $39.99, which I think was a pretty good deal for this. And I really liked it, but my mom definitely pushed me on this one. She's like, you have to get it. You have to get it. So nice. So it does need to be adjusted under the armpit because it's just a bit big for moi but um it's so cute and for me I really don't think it's gonna be something that I'll only wear for one season I think I'm gonna have it for a long time and the quality is really good I have to say and I wasn't so keen until I tried it on like blue denim and I was like oh this is nice this is very nice then I thought it's like white denim then you could wear it with like white shorts and I was like yep sold so lastly I have bits from ASOS but I thought I would just do two headbands first. If you didn't know I'm a big headband girl. My mom is absolutely roasting me right now because I have a lot of headbands and it's because I've always loved them and I've always had quite a few. I've always worn them and now they're trendy. So now they're everywhere. So it's not like, oh look, there's a headband, let me see if that works, if it's cute then I'll get it because they were so rare before. Now there's headbands everywhere and I can't resist. So she actually told me to buy this one though. Um, I got this in a local boutique to my town called Brass. It's so cute. If you can um, see it, it is. I'm actually strange enough not wearing a headband today. I don't know if it's quite focusing but you can see that it's like a woven texture and it's really nice kind of rounded at the top as well. So I love it. I have to say I definitely will wear this. I have a few outfits I want to wear this with. I'm just I can't stay away from headbands. Maybe I'll do a headband collection video. Would that be somewhat justifying my collection? The other one I got was from Monkey on ASOS. Uh, really starting to like Monkey and they are in the responsible edit because I think a lot of their stuff they'll use a more sustainable kind of cotton and you know they're changing their practices and things. So um, obviously this is just plastic but it is tortoise shell. So I have a thin tortoise shell headband that I wear a lot and then I have a wide black one that I also wear a lot because I prefer the wider style. Um, especially because my hair is not naturally straight if you're new here. Yeah I straighten my hair. It's extremely long. Um, my hair is like wavy. So the wide ones suit me better and I love the wide tortoise shell. I'm so glad I got it. Again, this is what started my mom roasting me for having so many headbands because I didn't tell her I was getting this uh, with all the rest of the stuff from ASOS and then she saw it when I was unboxing it and I was like, heh. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, like when I'm saying I have a lot of headbands, like I started collecting them probably five years ago. I'd say I have maybe 20 at this point. We'll do a headband collection video, that'll be fun. So the rest of the stuff from ASOS, we'll try and speed through it a bit because this is getting pretty long. I got these shoes, which are just ASOS own brand shoes. I can touch them because they haven't been worn outside. Uh, they were about 40 euro I believe, but I thought these were so classic and cute looking, but they have a heel because I'm only 5'2", especially I found in college and in places like that. It's not, like, it's not a bad thing, but being the girl who loves, 
you know, pink and dogs and lipstick and it sometimes it can be hard to be taken seriously so it doesn't help when you're only five foot two. So that's why we wear the chunky heel and they're just so cute. I got these especially for skirts and dresses. Uh, very classic preppy. We love. We're gonna channel Elle Woods for grad school. Yes? So talking about channeling Elle Woods and that kind of classic preppy. I got this super cute skirt from Warehouse and I will say the quality is pretty good. It feels good. I got this in a 12 because technically, I've always talked about this in hauls, but I am like kind of odd measurements. Um, I'm not flat chested, but I have quite a small upper body. So I measure about an 810 on top, but I'm more of a 1214 on my hips and my thighs just I'm just built that way. I got this in a 12. I'm certainly hoping it fits. It looks like it should across the back, but you never know. But the fabric is actually quite nice. I believe this was on sale. So it says that it was 47 euro. That is definitely not what I paid for it. I think I paid about 22. Um, and I don't think this was in the responsible edit, but that's unfortunate. On ASOS, I also got this top from Bershka, which is gonna be hard to show here, but hopefully I'll have it in the try on. And it's a little wrap top. Um, I don't typically wear things that are low cut, not for any specific reason, uh, other than I used to break out on my chest sometimes, so it's just out of habit. I wouldn't buy things that were low cut, but I thought this was so cute for wearing with the skirts and it wraps ties. I think I got this in a medium. I believe it was the equivalent of a UK 10 um, for a medium, which I think is kind of a weird sizing. I wouldn't really say 10's a medium, I'd say like a 12 to 14's a medium because 12 isn't a large, is it? No. But anyways, this is a medium, equivalent to a UK 10, and I love the color. I just love pink. I always reach for pink things in my wardrobe, and I always wish I had more. So I decided to, if I was gonna get a little sweater top, I wear sweater tops all the time. If you were following me when I was working uh, in New York, I used to intern at the UN. I'll link one of those videos here. I always wore little sweater tops. They just suit me. They just suit my build, so I always go for them. So I thought, if I'm gonna get a sweater top, get a pink one, double win. And the last thing in this haul is a coat. Um, it's not a quality coat, I'll definitely say that. So I wanted to get something that was fun for outfits for college, isn't, you know, a practical one. But when you see this, you know I'm gonna be keeping it for as long as I possibly can. It's pink. It is a pink tartan. Is this black watch tartan? Or does black watch tartan have to be? I don't know if I know my tartan I would be very proud but um, it just has a single button I got this in a 12 I probably could have done with the 10 but the sleeves aren't massive so if you had a chunky jumper maybe I would need the 12 but yeah it's not also worth returning it and getting the 10 um, it's from new look but again as I said I bought it on ASOS and I'm so excited to have this for the autumn it definitely needs to be steamed though it is crinkly and wrinkly but that is very easily sorted out. So that is it for my back to school haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing the few pieces that I picked up. I'll try and link most of them down below because I'm pretty sure most of them are still available on their websites, except for that uh, pink and white stripey top. I cannot find that for the life of me when I was trying to show my friend. So follow me on Instagram to see me styling these pieces uh, at anime.yt. This is my Instagram. Definitely quite active on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel if you are new and check out some of my previous videos and I will see you in my next one.